Hi, this is Andy with West Valley 411. In this segment, I'm going to show you how to prepare the exterior of your house for painting, excluding power washing. So here you can see the eaves that have been primed. Here there are the wooden eaves that have been uh, scraped and prepared. And then a little further down, there's going to be an area where I'm going to show you um, the work that needs to be done. But first, a couple of products and some safety equipment. For the safety equipment, you're going to want a uh, respirator of some type. This is a P95. It keeps all the dust out of your lungs. Get some glasses. Here's a 5-in-1 tool. It allows you to get into corners and um, scrape areas that your paint scraper doesn't get. And this is an HDX from Home Depot. So as far as the products go, you're going to want to get three things that are really key. The first one is a concrete and masonry um, patch repair, and this is for the cracks in your uh, stucco. What you need is a toothbrush where you can uh, push this textured um, uh, coating into the crack, and then you can kind of feather it out with your toothbrush. It works really well. It's about the best product that I've found. And um, I'll show you what that looks like. You won't even be able to tell that there's a repair. Also, for the corners of your uh, house, here's a DAP all-purpose stucco patch. It's basically like uh, whipped cream cheese. You just scoop it out with a knife and uh, square up the side of your house, and it works really well. And then here is some uh, Bondo wood filler. You can fill cracks in the... Um, eaves that have been uh, chipped out as long as the dry rot is not too bad. It comes with an activator. You have just a couple of minutes to uh, mix it up and apply it and then you can um, uh, file it down and um, sand to the, the uh, level of the wood. So let me show you real quick what it takes to prepare the eaves. Now you want to make sure that you're comparing apples to apples. If you want to pay for a spray painter just to come by and colorize your house, that's one thing. But you want to make sure that it's going to last, so it's going to require a fair amount of preparation. And as you can see, we filed off the, um, the nail heads to get all the rust. That was with a uh, rotary tool on a drill. The wood here has been fairly well scraped, and you can see it's, it's ready for paint or primer initially. And then right here is a crack. This is one of the areas that you want to use that uh, stucco textured filler. Just use your toothbrush and feather it. You can see here it runs down pretty close to the window. Um, here's an area that was repaired. I hope you can see that. I'm getting some glare. Um, it goes kind of straight up there uh, from the corner of the window. But anyway, let me get my 5-in-1 tool and show you what I mean, because this is really important. Here you've got an area under the eaves, and you can see with just a little bit of work, a lot of that peeled paint is going to come right off. And you don't want to paint on top of that, because it's just not going to last, and you're not going to be able to really preserve the wood really well. So, I'm doing... I'm doing this left-handed and it's a little bit more challenging. So let me switch hands and you can see how at least the part that meets the stucco Well, obviously that needs some more work, but you can kind of see here now this is just with the with a five-in-one tool, and then when you get your paint scraper, you're going to be coming along here. Really, and really taking off more wood. You can kind of see here what gets attached to your scraper. So, this is just a quick video. Um, it does require quite a bit of labor, but if you build that into your estimate and you're having somebody else do it then you'll get what you're paying for. Otherwise, if you're doing it yourself, it just takes a lot of elbow grease. Good luck, and have fun painting.